Hi friends, in this video we'll quickly go through how to create aliases in Windows PowerShell in order to save a lot of time by assigning long lines of commands to aliases. Aliases are a great way to create shortcuts in the terminal. I've covered this for Linux in a previous video but let's do the same for Windows with PowerShell. If you're new to Windows Terminal, make sure to watch my video about maximizing productivity in Windows Terminal. Open your PowerShell in the Windows Terminal and enter alias. This will show all the aliases that are currently assigned on your system. In order to search for a string, you can pipe the alias command with find str for a string and dash i and then enter the term you want to search for the ls command is an alias for the powershell command get child item running any of them will return the same result alternatively you can use a get dash alias command but you need to enter the exact alias name you can also search for the command instead of the alias to see to which aliases a certain command has been assigned. To add an alias to this list, use the new dash alias command. Let's add a new alias with the name list and assign it to the value get dash child item. Just like ls alias. Now if we do list in PowerShell, we get the same result and we can also search for it in the alias list. But if we close the current terminal session, we lose the alias we just created. In order to create a permanent alias, we can modify our PowerShell profile under user directory. In your PowerShell terminal, enter $profile. This will show the path to the file location. But this file and its parent directory is probably not created yet. So make sure to create the full directory path either through the file explorer or the terminal. You can use the following command to create the path and the file at once or do it step by step manually. Here I'm creating the file with that exact name using echo which is actually also an alias for a write dash output then open the file in your favorite code editor or just notepad. This file is executed each time PowerShell starts. Before adding aliases, we need to make sure the alias you want to add doesn't already exist. Try searching for it or use the new dash alias command in the terminal to assign the alias. If the alias already exists, you'll get an error. The ls alias already is in use, so we can't use it. Let's try assigning np to notepad. That worked, so we can use that in our PowerShell profile. Now each time you open a new terminal, the alias np is assigned to notepad. Unfortunately, by using the new dash alias command, we can only assign aliases to commands that do not contain parameters. But the whole purpose of aliases is to shorten long lines of commands in order to work more efficiently. In order to assign commands with parameters to aliases we need to use functions and then assign an alias to that function. Let's open our PowerShell profile again. Here's an example of a function for starting a Docker container and then running it using a few parameters for username and directory. We can then assign this function to an alias. You can also easily export the list of aliases to a CSV file. This will place the exported file inside the current directory unless a path is specified. And to import the list of aliases, use import-alias command. This could also be a way to easily change your aliases at the start of each terminal session. 
Just keep in mind that the existing aliases will not be overridden. To remove an alias, use the remove-alias command or the del command. And to make the de deletion permanent, add it to your PowerShell profile. You don't need to open the PowerShell profile each time you want to add something to it. You can simply use the echo alias by redirecting with, with double greater than signs in order to add your text at the bottom of the line. Hope this video helped you to maximize your efficiency when working with PowerShell by assigning long commands to aliases. And I hope to see you in the next video.